So it's the middle of the night, and me and Luna are hungry. Tell everyone you're hungry, Luna. You know what's always good? MREs. So tonight we're going to do beef goulash. I've never had this one. What do you say about beef goulash, Luna? Alright. Welcome once again to the luxury suite of my camper. Let's see what's inside. Okay. So we have sugar cookies, patriotic. We got our heating apparatus, white wheat, snack bread. This little packet has gum and a napkin, iodized salt, and this beverage is lemonade. And a little sani cloth. Sani cloth is coming to town. Looks like we've also got applesauce, milk chocolate cocoa beverage powder, chunky peanut butter, and strawberry jam. There's the goulash. It all goes in this little pack together. Don't worry if you're looking at, at investing in these, they have retard proof directions. I like this part. It says sleeve, folded end, MRE, rock or something. <laughs> Once assembled, it should look like that. I'm gonna fill it only to the fill line. So this is gonna be my rock or something. <laughs> Let's see. And you don't wanna overfill these. They only take a little tiny bit of water. Too much and you'll have a problem. So make sure the fold goes opposite of the side that the heat pack is on. And I do this. I put a little hole. Alright, so while that cooks, let's go ahead and make our uh, our ghetto ass uh, milk chocolate yoohoo thing here. Rip the top off. Guesstimate right around six ounces of water. On the button. This isn't my first time to see now. And you got yourself basically the US military equivalent of a Yoohoo. They're alright. You can also use hot water, have hot cocoa. As far as hot chocolates and cold chocolates go, it's like a um, hard five. <laughs> Over here, MRE is cooking away. And Guess now we wait. Now we wait. No, I don't smoke inside. What the fuck is wrong with you? I think it's done. Let's see. Luna's definitely done. Give it a little squeeze like this. It's got this sleeve so you don't burn the shit out of yourself. And just make sure it's thoroughly cooked. 
And I guess even if not, you can throw it back in. It stays hot, like, for a long time. Matter of fact, you can take that pouch and throw it in your sleeping bag. In that cardboard. So it doesn't burn the shit out of you. It'll keep you warm most of the night. I'm fucking starving and I can't wait. So I'm gonna have some applesauce. I was gonna do a separate video showing you guys what all the sides are, but... Fuck it. This is applesauce enhanced with maltodextrin. I guess I should start doing this. Take a screenshot or whatever. As far as applesauce goes, I don't know, I guess an eight. <laughs> the fuck, applesauce is applesauce, right? I will add, could use a little bit of cinnamon in the US Army. Yeah, put some cinnamon in that bitch. Moving right along, we got our bread here. Wow. Bread. <laughs> Peanut butter and a jelly. This might be hard to read. I'm sure we'll revisit this. Chunky peanut butter. Yeah, it's chunky, alright. Everything in the military is like pulling a grenade pin. Even the MREs can be hard to open. Feel free to skip ahead if you don't like me smearing fucking peanut butter on a piece of mana. What is this indeed? Alright, I think for demonstration purposes that should be sufficient. The peanut butter itself is really good. It's really damn good. It tastes like I just ate a handful of fresh peanuts. Strawberry jam. Not jelly. Jam. Some real shit. 100%. Smells really good. Okay, strawberry jam, US MRE. Better than McDonald's. Tastes like fruit. Like some real ass jam. Like grandma made it. Probably not your grandma. I'm a little bit older than I look. Alright, let's see. Cheers. It's weird because the bread's flat. But like as soon as I second you chew it, it's almost like an actual like piece of bread like you get at the store sliced. Weird. As far as the peanut butter and jelly goes, I give that a seven out of ten. 
Pretty damn good. Ah, so the goulash is ready. Now, normally, if you needed a bowl, you don't need a bowl. But some people are kind of picky about how they eat, or they're trying to scoop it up with bread or some shit, using that bread to scoop it. You got your MRE bag, which opens up pretty wide at the bottom. That makes just dandy bowl. So I decided for demonstration purposes, I'm going to use a bowl like a pussy. Oh yeah, that's all goulashed. That's goulashed for shizzle. Fuck those things that are hot. They're a lot hotter than the ones you buy like from Walmart or the store. That shit's get hot. Okay. You didn't bring a spoon? U.S. military's got you covered. I fuck camouflage and everything. Phew. It's definitely got a rough smell. I don't know why I chose the only Indian dish in the whole fucking batch, but... I did. Now that rice seems like... I thought there would be more rice. I'm sorry, I'm a little bit obsessive compulsive. If I don't get it all out, I'll go to sleep tonight thinking there's kids in Africa that would have loved to lick that bag clean. My parents were baby boomers. <laughs> so there's our wonderful goulash. Which is beef, brown rice, spinach, carrots, tomatoes, and smoked paprika. On one appetite. And it tastes right now like a can of Campbell's beef stew. Maybe a little bit more vegetable y, tomato y. The beef kind of overrides everything in the bag. Is it good? Hell yeah, it's good. The worst MRE is better than like the best meal in jail. So, if that relates, it does. If not, yeah. So on an MRE, Scale, menu number 22, U.S. Department of Defense. I'm going to give it that's a 6 out of 10. Altogether, that's a pretty good fucking meal. I like it. Don't worry, I didn't forget about everything else. Have some patriotic cookies. Broken all the fuck and only a few whole ones. Yep. These are definitely patriot cookies. <laughs> I didn't, I'm not trying to do the inverted pinnacle, that's just how it came up. I don't need conspiracy theorists to light me up. Because I'm the fucking. I'm the conspiracy theorist. <laughs> it's like a circus, like a circus animal cookie cracker, whatever the fuck you call it. it took a little bit of a debate. Five out of five. Animal crackers are the shit. 
The gum, I'm not going to subject you to. It's basically like dentine. It's not much different. The flavor lasts a little bit longer. Now the lemonade says add to 20 ounces of water. Don't. Add it to like 16, maybe 12. Because let me assure you, <clears throat> it's not the greatest lemonade. So I just get my head and put it in there. Sorry, I had to turn the light off. It's Luna's bedtime. And that's on hit. As far as lemonade goes, ah, five out of ten. <laughs> it's all right. Ooh, I gotta mention. The way you do these is you save a couple different flavors up, mix them together like the fruit punch and the lemonade into a 20 ounce bottle. That's the shit. Thanks for joining me on this little uh, MRE adventure. I was going to make an intro and shit, but I'm just going to live my life and we'll see what you guys like. Moist towelette. Very functional. Still some left to do my face. Nice. Let's take the napkin. Yes. Nice. We got the iodized salt still. Just one for old time sleep. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it was nice to meet everybody. Come see me soon. I'm never gonna say the words like, follow, and subscribe ever. That's the last time you'll ever hear it.